After just a couple of minutes, you will be able to view the completed experiment. At this stage, you can observe and analyze the outcomes and results of the experiment, such as the model's performance metrics, charts, and insights. Take this opportunity to delve into the completed experiment and gather valuable information about the model's performance and predictions. In the H2O Hydrogen Torch navigation menu, click View Experiments. In the Experiments table, click Tutorial 1A. To determine the final validation metric of the experiment, you can observe the value in the Val metric column. H2O Hydrogen Torch designates an experiment as completed once its status changes to finished. By locating the experiment entry and checking the Val metric column, you will find the final validation metric that quantifies the model's performance on the validation dataset. To gain a deeper understanding of the final validation score, let's revisit the validation prediction in Step. Now that the experiment is complete, we can thoroughly examine the best and worst uh, validation samples to learn from them. This will provide valuable insights into the type of images where the model performed well or poorly in terms of prediction accuracy. By analyzing these samples, we can identify any patterns or characteristics that influenced the model's performance. In particular, we can explore the type of images the model was good or bad at predicting. In the experiments table, click Tutorial 1A. Click the Validation Prediction Insights tab. Click the Best Validation Samples tab. Here, we can see the best validation samples where a prediction's loss value is low when compared to other samples. Click the Worst Validation Samples tab. Here, we can see the worst validation samples where a prediction's loss value is high when compared to other samples. Observing the best and worst validation samples shows that high loss values were generated any time the image was too dark. With this in mind, we can assume that replacing these dark images with more clear ones can lead to a better validation score because clear images allow our regression model to learn from clear images where coins can be distinguished. At this point, we might be wondering when it will be good or bad to implement this built model in production. Usually, a well-performing model is defined by an acceptable solution within the constraints and expectations of the use case. For example, use case 1. Let's suppose that our build model is intended for use in an automated tenular machine ATM to count deposited coins. However, based on the validation MAE, the model is considered low performing. This could result in inaccurate counting, potentially leading to over counting or under counting of the deposited coins. In the context of an ATM, accuracy is crucial, making the current model unsuitable for this specific use case. Considering the importance of accurate counting in an ATM, it becomes necessary to tune the hyperparameters of the model to improve the validation MAE. By optimizing the hyperparameters, we aim to enhance the model's performance and achieve a lower validation MAE. This process involves experimenting with different hyperparameter settings and techniques, such as grid search, to identify the optimal configuration that improves the accuracy of coin counting in the ATM. Use case 2. Let's suppose that another objective that we would have is to obtain a rapid approximate sum of many coins using the built model. To determine the model's acceptability in this scenario, we first need to establish an acceptable margin of error for the rapid approximation. If the validation MAE of our built model falls within the defined acceptable margin of error, we can consider the model acceptable and well-performing for this use case. This means that the model's predictions, while not exact, are within the acceptable range of the desired rapid approximation. The acceptability of the model in this context depends on whether the validation MAE aligns with the established margin of error and meets the requirements for a rapid approximate sum of the coins.